Welcome to World's Best Videos. We've compiled the list of the craziest prison abuse stories. Let's get into it. Psychological Abuse Richard Mayer was locked up in Dade Correctional Institute Mental Health of September 2013. Mayer hung himself. In his suicide note, he accused prison guards of punishing inmates with starvation. The officers also forced them to fight and place bets on the winners. Mayer also claimed sexual assaults by prison employees. He said that one asked Mayer to strip out of his clothes and touch himself in exchange for cigarettes. Mayer had been raped in the past. In his suicide note, he claimed that the officer also knew it. Mayer suggested that he was in the mental health unit to get help for his depression and suicidal tendencies, all of which were worsened by recent sexual assault. He was slammed against the wall when he refused to get advice from the lieutenant, then told to keep his mouth shut ignoring cries for help. Rick Martin was incarcerated in Florida's Santa Rosa Correctional Institution. After a few hours, prison workers forced Martin into a cell with an inmate known for getting into violent altercations with others. He was found dead. In March 2012, guards had found Rick beaten to a pulp. He was found with the skull smashed and his body was black and blue. Apparently, he had been restrained and strangled with ribbons of torn fabric. The scrubs that Martin wore were soaked in blood and pulled over his head, maybe indicating rape. He begged to be moved to a new cell out of fear for his life. There were witnesses that the report hearing the screams and the thuds. There is evidence that the inmate Sean Jigaman Rogers had used a sock stuffed with batteries. The same witnesses recall that Rogers had jumped on Martin's head multiple times smashing it into the concrete floor. Despite their repeated cries for help, the prison staff failed to respond until it was too late. Inmates pleaded with officers to assist Martin during the attack. Video taken during the incident shows a guard glancing inside the cell during the attack, but ultimately refusing to come to Martin's aid. Scalding Showers It all started with a shower. In 2012, Darren Rainey, who was schizophrenic, had defecated in the cell. Harriet Kurkowski, a former counselor at the Dade Correctional Institution, asked the guard how they were going to deal with Rainey. The guard calmly assured her, oh, don't worry, we'll put him in the shower. The counselor thought it was a good thing. Kurkowski learned that the guards had locked Rainey in a small stall and showered him by force with a hose. Only the guards, not Rainey, were able to control the water temperature. Prison authorities boiled Darren Rainey to death when they were forced him to take a two-hour shower in scalding water that was 82 degrees Celsius. The water was hot enough to cook ramen soup. Due to the shower was so small, there was nothing Rainey could do to escape the scalding water. Inmates reported that Rainey had screamed for help during the two-hour torture session. Rainey, who was serving a sentence for cocaine possession and non-violent offense, was cooked like a lobster. According to Rainey's fellow inmates, Rainey was not the first person who had been locked in the shower under these conditions. However, he was the first to die. Well, that concludes the video, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. And if you did, remember to smack that like button. Let us know in the comment section below what you'd like to see next. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do subscribe to keep up with the world's best videos.